Hi everyone, this is Crystal and I'm back with week nine in my Project Life album. So this was a bit of a different week for me as well. Um, as you can see, I don't have a lot of photos. Um, it doesn't mean we didn't do stuff this week. We actually had a fairly busy week, but um, I didn't I didn't take photos. Um, I think, to be honest, I was in a bit of an emotional funk and just um, wasn't really feeling the uh, photography bit. Um, although we did have a good time um, out with friends one night, actually two different nights. Um, so I think I'll probably end up journaling about those things and um, just use the photos that I have here. I was uh, very productive in the craft room and then um, just a couple other uh, photos to share. So for supplies, I'm using the Happy Little Moments kit from Feature Craft designed by Anna Creative Bubble. I have the cards and the stamp set as well as the um, little die kits die cuts. So that's what my plan is. I'm going to use these things, do a bit more journaling than usual, and uh, hopefully make this, um, this spread work. So as I said in the beginning of this video, I'll be using the Happy Little Moments kit from Feature Craft. It's designed by Gerilyn Sai of In a Creative Bubble. Um, this is actually gonna be in a haul video for the month of March um, that I haven't shared on my channel yet because I'm waiting for one more thing to come in, in the mail before I finish that video. Um, so I will have more details about that there, but I definitely have everything linked down below. I did buy the physical kit this time because I, I had another um, item I wanted to purchase from the shop. So I just went ahead and bought the physical, physical kit since I was paying for shipping anyway. Uh, but when you buy the physical kit, you do also get the digital kit, which is a very nice little perk from Feature Craft. Um, so I'll be able to use this for lots of other things in the future as well. Um, so I'm just going through the cards and Debating which ones to use on this spread. I really liked that yellow morning card, but I was looking for something to go behind this smaller photo and I didn't like the two yellows together. So um, I thought about using a different card for my journaling, but I ended up going with that very colorful kind of geometric card behind it. And I'm gonna end up trimming down that photo a bit so that you can see more of the colors on that card. And then I added that tag from the die cuts um, to kind of echo that same pattern. And then that brings all those colors from the title card through the second row down to the bottom row. Uh, and I really like the way that that ends up looking. So now I'm just going through the die cuts and trying to find some that might work on this spread. Um, this ends up being a pretty simple layout. So I don't go too crazy. Um, I use a few of the die cuts and then I'm gonna bring in just some white cardstock. This is just Nina bright white cardstock, which again, I'll have linked down below. Uh, and I'm gonna stamp a few things on that just to, to use as embellishments on this spread. These cards are all pretty busy or pretty dark, one or the other. So I didn't wanna stamp directly onto the cards. I thought it would be um, a bit easier to just stamp on some cardstock and then trim it out. So I used my sand eraser since this is a brand new stamp and just went over the whole thing so I didn't have to do each stamp individually. And then I'm using some Hero Arts ink. This is navy dye ink. And I will say it does stain the stamps quite a bit. Uh, I do go in and clean them a bit better after this video, but they are still stained. Um, which doesn't bother me, but if it's something that bothers you, it's definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, but I really wanted some navy ink, and I had a couple options, but um, this one really does work better than the... the um, I have a uh, Versa Magic chalk ink in navy as well, but um, this one tends to give a bit uh, crisper image. Um, it stamps a bit cleaner, so this is the one I chose. And I'm just doing a couple stamps of each one, making sure I get a good impression, um, choosing a few off of this stamp set to add as embellishments. I'm not exactly sure where all of them are gonna go. I'm just kind of choosing the ones that I think might work on this spread and um, stamping them down until I like the image I get. And then I will go in and just hand cut those out using my scissors and um, a circle punch as well for those, for those little circle elements. I think this is the last one I'm going to stamp and I think it turns out pretty good on the first try so I'm going to go ahead and cut these out I think. Oh I did think about adding some of those little um, designs into the center of that circle but I wasn't sure where it was going to sit on the spread so I thought um, since they were kind of arrows I would stamp them after I knew where they, where they were going to go on my page. Okay, so now I'm gonna trim these out. I won't make you watch that whole process, but um, like I said, I just used my scissors and a circle punch for the circles and then added them to the cards where I thought they would work best. 
Now that I have everything on the spread, I can go ahead and start working on each card individually. I'm going to start with my title card. Um, I pulled out these alphas. These are Paige Evans' um, thickers. <laughs> they're little foam alpha stickers. I think they're from Pick Me Up. Again, if I can find them, I will definitely link them down below. But um, they're some of my favorites. They're just the perfect size and um, I really like foam alphas as well so I really like using these. I'm going to use them to spell out week nine on my thickers alignment tool there and then I can kind of move it around and decide where I want it on the spread. Um, I felt like it needed a little something else so I was looking through the other embellishments and the cards to see if there was anything I could use to kind of fussy cut or trim or punch um, but I'm going to end up actually keeping it very simple and I'm going to take off that die cut that I have there and just stick with the little stamped image and um, the alphas and my date stamp and that's going to be it for this title card. I don't end up adding any other embellishments just because I really love that rainbow card and I really wanted it to shine. I, did, I didn't want to cover up too much of it so I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, so to add my dates there is a uh, a label there at the bottom that says date and that's where I'm going to put my dates. I'm, I've grabbed out my tiny date stamp. Again, I'll link this down below as well. I just purchased it from Amazon. Um, it has a much smaller uh, stamped image, um, but even so, it still uh, wasn't wasn't small enough for me to fit the full date across this label, so I had to kind of partially ink it and, sta and stamp just the month and day uh, for the beginning and end of this week. And then, of course, it didn't stamp quite right the first time, so um, I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. And my, my biggest issue is that I don't have a navy pen. Um, so if you have a good navy color, like a navy blue pen um, that you that you like, or a fine tip marker even, I would love to hear your suggestions. None of the blue um, pens or markers I have are really that navy color. So you can see I'm going to go into, um, these are some uh, Pentel fine tip markers that I have. Um, and I find the one that's closest, but it's still not a true navy. It's more of a royal blue. So I'm definitely open to your suggestions for a good navy pen. Um, but what I have will do for the spread. I just make it work. So I'm going to move on to the next photo, which is a collage of photos of just all of the crafty projects that I worked on this week. Um, like I said, it was a pretty productive week in my craft room. So um, and since I didn't have a lot of other photos to document this week, I went ahead and printed these out just in a little collage. And I'm just going to spell out the word crafty in these same thickers and add that to the center of this photo along with those two die cuts. One that says 100% fun and the other one I think says something about every day. I can't quite read it on my screen, but something like that also in that navy blue color. Um, and I'm just going to layer those together and add that. And then that's going to be it for that one. There wasn't really much else to say. Uh, for this morning card where I've done my journaling about that little photo next to it, um, I'm going to add that little die cut right in between morning and the journaling that I typed using my uh, We Are Memory Keepers typewriter. And um, then I'm going to stamp the date, I believe. Yep, right there in that little square at the bottom. And that's going to be it for that one. And then for this kind of filler card, I've used one of those circles that I stamped and punched. And then I brought in these puffy stickers. These are also from Feature Craft. They're just hearts. Um, some of my favorite puffy stickers. And I've added one of those to the center of that circle. And I, you'll see I'll add a couple more to the spread just to um, make that not be the only place I have a heart on this spread. So I'm, I've trimmed down this photo a little bit and I'm going to layer up um, one of the stamped images and um, one of the die cuts as well as another little heart puffy. And just keeping things really simple for this one, not doing too much. Um, when I ran this one through my, this card through my typewriter, it did get a little bit of ink smudged on the bottom. So I just used my sand eraser to um, to kind of clean that up a little bit. It doesn't completely remove it, but it does uh, make it a little bit less noticeable. And then again, I'm using that same blue pen to just um, check off one of the items on the little list that's printed on the top of this card and then write the date as well. And of course, I wrote the wrong month and had to get out my whiteout and color over it, um, which is not a huge deal, but I, it was a... a a dummy move for sure but oh well it's fine the whiteout worked fine and I was able to write the correct month and move on 
So for this one, I'm just adding one of those little stamps from the die cut pack. Um, and then another little stamped image that I fussy cut. And um, I thought about adding another one here, but I'm just gonna leave it as is and move on to this last filler card. Um, so like I said, I'm definitely gonna add that um, tag with all the colors just to bring those that, that pattern and those colors down to the bottom. And then all I'm gonna do is add a couple puffy stickers and call it good. I'm, like I said, keeping it super simple. And um, this one gets done in no time. So at the very end here, I'm going to come back in with my stapler, um, just my tiny attacher with just some regular staples, and uh, I'm going to add some staples to mostly to where I have the puffy stickers because you know how I love adding staples in the center of puffy stickers, and then just a few other places just to add some texture and um, a little bit of a different um, dimension to this page otherwise it was looking pretty flat even with those alphas and puffy stickers everything else is pretty flat on this page so adding just a few staples here and there kind of adds a little bit of something different and um, gives this this page the finishing touch that it needed so that's going to be it for this spread like I've said before everything will be linked down below I do have a, a slightly different way of linking things now so hopefully that'll be easier for you to find the things that I mentioned in my videos um, there are tons of close-up photos coming up so you can see all of the details of this spread thank you all so much for watching I hope that you've enjoyed this video I hope that you found some inspiration and uh, if you did enjoy the video I do appreciate a thumbs up that lets me know that you like what I'm doing and that I should do more of it more of it if you aren't a subscriber I would love to have you so be sure to hit that subscribe button and if you haven't already clicked that notification bell that's gonna let you know every time I upload a new video thanks again for watching everyone and I will see you back here soon mm -hmm.